Welcome to Science Sci-Fi. My name is Ronald Friedman. I'm a science fiction writer and an IT professional. Today, the topic is AI art, the ethics of it, the legality of it, different thoughts that I have. This topic is just taking the internet by storm. So stay tuned. AI won a contest. In 2022, in the Colorado Fair State Annual Art Competition, gave white prizes in different categories. Theater de Opera Special, the picture you see right here in front of you, took home uh, the blue ribbon for, in the fairs for contest for emerging digital artists, making it one of the first AI-generated pieces to win a prize in the competition that most of the other participants were humans. And thus, it brings the only issue of AI art into the public eye. What's on the agenda on today's topic? First topic we'll discuss is the major leading companies that are leading in the digital art field, ethics and legality of AI art. This is going to be the main issue, the one that will consume most of our times. The end of jobs, deep fake and conclusion. I'm put question mark on conclusion because I'm not entirely sure what the conclusion will be and whether it's ethic or not. So this will be remain an open questions. So let's go right in and dive into the companies. The most uh, important company right now in the field is Stability AI. There is an interview that Raul Paul did on Real Vision with E. Musquick, a and he talked for, I think, maybe not more than an hour about the founder of the companies, how he built the, one of the most powerful computers on the planet, and uh, I think number 10, rank number 10 in the top uh, 500 uh, most powerful supercomputers. And he once he built this computer, he fed it with uh, billions of images and pictures that he collected from various places. And then he did two things. First thing, he built an AI that can analyze language, so you can prompt it, write down the prompt with keywords and some words, and then the AI can understand what you want, and the second thing, it can analyze uh, the billions of pictures it has on its database, and take different elements and styles and ideas from different pictures, and create a brand new picture that has never been uh, painted before. So this is taking a lot of elements from existing artists and pictures and images on the internet and from different sources and creating based on it something that is entirely new that still use some elements from uh, old work so i would recommend to put uh, to listen to the video uh, the discussion if you have the time i'll put a link in the description below uh, mid journey it's one of the software that I played with it on the night before doing this presentation and created a couple of uh, digital art like the thumbnail and uh, one more uh, is really amazing you there is you can learn how to do that and paint something that looks not paint but uh, ask the AI to paint something for you that will really 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 impressive so mid journey is using the API of Stability AI and there are other solutions that use the same supercomputer, the same companies uh, that give you the ability to create a prompt in different interface and they work with Stability AI. Second uh, company that I saw a lot of people are using is Prisma Labs. Uh, links is here on the page. That company is beyond Lenza. That, uh, that's an app you can dial into the phone and upload uh, 10 or 20 pictures of yourself and then it creates portrait as if somebody painted it. This is another something that I saw a lot of people on social media are using. I haven't tried it yet, maybe I will. So now let's go to the main, main, main topic at hand, the ethic of AI. Claim number one, the art was stolen from artists. I'll move a little bit my video. Okay, those, this is not entirely untrue because the way Stability AI created the database, they took arts from different artists. Some of them don't no longer have copyright, like art from the Renaissance of cavemen of painted pictures and a lot of images that don't have copyrighted uh, right associated 
with them, but some art do have copyright, uh, uh, copyright associated with them. And the AI is generating a new image, they're taking some elements from those artworks and maybe some components, like if there is a, I don't know, a girl with a knife, maybe the knife was taken and put it in you, into a new picture. So the new issue that the AI is generated is, can use hundreds of thousands of different sources, but it does take element from sources that do have copyrights. So I'm not uh, saying this is not true. Now, is it ethical? Is it legal? Well, if you look at how artist techniques learn from since the beginning of history, since the caveman, or let's take, for example, that I wrote here from the Renaissance. If an artist from the Renaissance uh, take look at other artists that uh, draw pictures like Rubens or Michelangelo, Leonardo da Vinci, and that use artists draw the picture that they took in order to learn. And then he create an entirely new picture that he paints, but he used some techniques from the art that he learned. Is that stealing? Currently, the common conception, the common agreement, the consensus that this is not stealing. This is, you just take element, you learn to improve. This is actually something that benefit beneficial for art because if you cannot study for anyone from the past, then you cannot advance, you cannot learn new things. Well, the knowledge of art advanced a lot or significantly, perhaps even most of it, because people learn on the skills and the art of their ancestor or people that came from before them that created the artworks. And then they use those elements, those techniques and those knowledge, this knowledge to create something new, perhaps even more beautiful and more advanced. So do Renaissance artists who study other artists' work and use some style and element in creating something new, stole the original work, the common consensus is no, it is something unique, even though you use some elements. On the other hand, the uh, exists, existing art uh, stock images in sight, uh, the big revolution before the AI was stock images. So people like writers like myself or others could go to a stock image website or pay somebody to go there, pay them a little fee, and then have access to millions of images then you can take those images and you have the legal right to use them. Uh, or you could take some element uh, from them and use Photoshop to create something new or based on that image. But the original artist did get a little bit commission if his art was used. So, And in the case of AI, the AI does not pay the artist that the work was taken, the billions of artwork that were taken from others. The AI is not paying for them. So... Was, used, was art that used to create an entirely new artwork by AI? Should those artists get royalties or even some recognition that the AI work was using them? That's a very tough question. Paintbrush. Uh, so the advance of, uh, of artwork, it started with paintbrush. Uh, initially, we... The cavemen, the common gone painted on the wall of caves uh, with uh, blood or some material they found on the ground. Uh, then we invented, I don't know, we were able to cave on stone. Later we knew how to draw on papyrus. Then we have paintbrush. Uh, early, about in the early 1990s, we had Photoshop and later GIMP. This is a tool that allows us to be more creative and write draw new things using digital software on a computer. It makes the artist work more efficient, faster, perhaps even better. Then we had what was a big uh, debate uh, maybe eight or 10 years ago, stock images. Is it ethical? Instead of paying an artist $1,500 to do a book cover, pay, I don't know, 20 or 30 bucks for a stock art and used it instead in your book, the artist will still get paid. So maybe it's a little bit better than uh, AI work, but there was some debate how ethical it is. But generally, the consensus that it's it's fine. And now we have something new. Uh, but is it just a productivity tool? Is it something uh, else? Is it legal? So because this is something entirely new, I'm sure lawmakers and courts and there will be lawsuits. 
will debate it and decide uh, if it is legal. I'm not talking about the ethical part, but is it even legal to do that? Because stock images are considered legal because they do pay some royalties to artists and the artists don't know that the art are, is part of the database. But the AI, what stability AI did, uh, they, they really just rip off or took or, or whatever you want to call it without getting any permission for a, a lot of artwork that exists somewhere on the internet. So I'm sure there will be a lot of discussion and debate in courts and by lawmakers to make a decision. And we can, the only thing we can do is wait, unless you want to be one of the people who filed that lawsuit or one of those lawsuits. Can we go back? The answer for that, I tend to think no. AI cannot unlearn what it already know unless you entirely shut it down, but I don't really see that happen. Next legal question is who owns the AI and can you use it in publication? I, I try mid journey for a little bit and I use it in a, my, th my thumbnail here on this video, but I'm not asking for any money or anything, but am I, am I allowed to create AI in a image or am I art? and then try to sell it? Can I create an NFT with it? Can I just use it on my book for, uh, cover if I write a book and want to publish it? Those are all very complex questions and I don't really have an answer for it right now. Uh, do I have copyright for the art that the AI created? I don't know. That's an open question. Can I sell it as an F NFT? I know that uh, some people are doing it, how legal it is. I'm not entirely sure. Maybe it is. I think I need to read the term of condition of uh, mid journey. Uh, I think it's uh, that whatever you create in mid journey is uh, can be used by the public. Um, not sure if you can sell it as your own art. Gut feeling probably not, but maybe. And what what level of copyright do we want in society? We do want, like what happened in the Renaissance, to be able to create better and better art. So this is something that will benefit society. On the other hand, if artists will create a work and those will immediately be ripped off, put in the, into an AI, and AI can do, can do a better job from their work, and the art, artists will not be able to make a living, will it benefit society? It means that artists will not or will make a lot less art than what they do today. So these are really tough questions. Claim two, the end of job. I, AI is not going to harm only artists. It's also going to harm architects, doctors, writers, programmers. AI will soon going to replace uh, even drivers. They're going to have self-driving cars. So AI is going to replace very soon many of the, of the jobs that currently exist in the market. So for what I know, there are possibly two scenarios about how the future is going to look like. The first one is that AI will replace humans room jobs and create a useless class the big chunk of humanity will sit at home without any job and they will have to get something like a basic universal basic income from the government or something else to be able to make a living but the ai will replace all humans and all job and it will do things cheaper and better and there will be no need for a big part of humanities and scenario number two, AI will make humans more productive and the jobs that are currently we have will disappear, but new jobs will be created that will allow, that will utilize or be leveraged by AI. So the jobs are not going to disappear, but people will have to learn new skills and they will become a lot more productive and be able to produce a lot more and we will have a better world. So which one of this scenario do you think will come through? Please leave a message in the discussion. You can leave a comment. Now, so this is going to be a big change. So that the second uh, option that AI will make human more productive. One example is if artists today are being ranked between zero and 100, soon 
somebody who can learn mid journey or AI art and learn for a few hours will be able to create art using AI that is just as advanced and just as beautiful as artists that has practiced for 10,000 hours to bring his, his skills to a level. And he can do that within minutes and with maybe one or two or three or five hours of training. So that regular people will become an, like an artist that rank 100. But on the other side, the very skilled artist, one who can adapt to the new environment and learn new skill and learn to use AI, he can bring up his skills to become 10,000. He can do something genuine, something really unique that no AI can, can do and right, do something better or use combine that or use AI art in order to create something that's even better than what exists today by the best um, artist. So those people with those skills who can utilize the AI, like people are using uh, Photoshop or stock images today, they can change the world and they can still have a job and can still earn a lot of money. Uh, same thing is going to happen to people like myself in the book writers. Will they benefit from a better and cheaper cover art? Yes, but soon AI will uh, replace writers as well. Anyone heard about, about ChatGPT? ChatGPT is a new software by uh, another company or another uh, foundation called OpenAI, and it is able able to emulate chat in different styles. And this is going to change copyright writers. That's going to be a big revolution, but not in art, but in uh, writing skills. Claim number three, deep fake. The future will be there. It will be very, very difficult to know what is fake news, who is a fake account, who is a bot, and what is authentic. Because with AI, it, you will be able to create a bot that can chat like a person. And uh, maybe like we have right now AI art, we're going to have AI videos that look like a real person. So when you talk with a bot, you will not be able to differentiate between that bot or that and a real person. And that, those bots will be controlled by somebody and by entity, by corporation, by government, by somebody that may not have the best of intention in heart. And it can basically take somebody in existence like the president and do a video like the president in saying something else that the president never said. How will the news react? How will it be possible to differentiate between deep fake and real news? And this future is coming very, very soon. I think we're well, maybe five years, maybe less, we're going to be there. Uh, so right now, I think developers and companies should work very, very hard about the solution and about how to verify authenticity. I predict that authenticity is and knowing what is fake is going to be one of the major challenges in the near future. Conclusion? Regrettably, I don't have a conclusion. Is it unethical to use cover art? Please leave your comment in the chat, in the comment section below in the video. I think AI is here to stay, whether what part of it will be legal, what part of it will be ethical, I don't entirely know. I'm not going to tell you what you're going to think, but my conclusion that is AI is going to stay and you want to learn about it, you want to adapt and you want to know how to use it. So thank you very much for listening. Um, here is uh, my Twitter feed, blog. Um, please see some of my other videos, read, uh, subscribe and like the video. Thank you and see you in the next video.